Hey guys, welcome back to Pass Enough Mom, a podcast by three Vietnamese college students trying to navigate adulthood through the scope of both their Vietnamese and American cultures. My name is Jasmine, and this week I am binge reading everything but my assigned readings for classes. My name is Cindy, and this week I'm wearing my Aoyai. If you're watching us on YouTube, um, you can see that my Aoyai, but don't quote me on this, has uh, flowers that they would use to decorate uh, that celebrations. And over here, we have a design that they would put on traditional Vietnamese gongs. And my name is Zui, you're gonna call me Kevin, but this week I am also wearing an Aoyai, yeah, it's the basic blue ones that mostly all the, the guys wear. But also this week I am catching up on my homework. <laughs> I was too lazy to put on an Aoyai and match the rest of my co-host. But anyways, today we're okay, talking good. about that, also known as Vietnamese New Year's. Um, for those of you who don't know, Vietnam, like any other, like not like any, sorry, like many other uh, Southeast Asian cultures, celebrates New Year's at the same time as what's n most commonly known as Lunar New Year's. It's a time when we get to eat a lot of good food, hang out with our extended family, and pass around um, red envelopes, uh, known in Vietnamese as Li Si. Unfortunately, we can't celebrate it this year as we normally would because of the pandemic, um, but we wanted to take this opportunity to share our own traditions for the holiday. Um, so like, how do you guys celebrate it? I know some families, um, have really big celebrations, some just chill. What do you guys do? Uh, in recent years for me, my family, we usually like clean the house and like here and there we like visit the grandparents as well. And then like, for, for my family specifically, we don't really do much to be honest actually. But like I know for sure we do like call up cousins and all that stuff to uh, wish them a happy new year, of course, yeah. Yeah, for us, my when we celebrate that, it's not as big as Christmas, where we um, we kind of go all out for Christmas. Sometimes we celebrate uh, for that. Sometimes we celebrate with our extended family, and other times we kind of just drop by for a quick visit. Most of my extended family are uh, really elderly people, anyways, so we kind of stop by, and I guess what we do is just. Um, chill, talk, they kind of give us blessings too, which is really cool. Yeah, my family normally will, um, will hang out, will hang out with my Omang Wai, my mom's parents, and my uncle on that side, um, and we'll just, like, eat lunch, chill, um, hand out our lisi, do the blessings, um, it's a little bit more formal than we do for my dad's side of the family. My dad's side of the family is a little bit more Amer Americanized, and also we it's quite bigger um, because my dad has like six siblings here in Washington, so um, we'll just like hang out a lot. Kids will play around, adults drink, um, and then we'll like pass around the um, Lisi, and then we'll also like visit other family members like my parents, aunts and uncles, and um, my brother and I don't know Vietnamese too well, so my mom normally has to repeat it for us. She has to like recite the blessings that we give them, and we have to repeat after her. It's pretty sad since we're <laughs> grown adults. But um, that's how it no normally goes for us. And also, like, um, I don't know if you guys do this, but when my dad's side, when we hang out with my dad's side, we recently started playing Boku, because um, my uncle just got a mat. And, like, for those of you don't who don't know, <clears throat> it's, like, three different, um, <clears throat> sorry, you use a mat. And there's three different, like, animals or foods. Um, sorry, six. There's six. There's six different ones, and um, people use cash or like they use um, like things to gamble with uh, to bet on where um, you have dice and it will roll, and they'll bet on where it will land and what you'll get. And if it gets that, 
then you get to split the winnings for that pot. But yeah, that's what we normally do. Um. So do you guys have like go-to blessings that you guys say? Because I feel like I kind of just reuse the blessings. Oh, I for give. sure. Yeah, I always say the same ones pretty much. Like, uh, uh, it's just to say it's like my grandparents. Like, uh, like uh, like good health. <laughs> and, yeah. And if it was like a I answer uncle, it's like um, the in the in you nook, right? Like, it's, uh, money flows in like water. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 Like yeah. Again, like Classic. my mom just repeats it for us, but like we normally do like good health and nice and mm -hmm. wealthy year. So Thanks. I think so next like, year I want to get a little bit more creative. More creative. Oh, that's so much work. <laughs> yeah, you know, like the, uh, if you can, you can ask like um, <laughs> your parents or something like that to give them like a joke type of uh, a joke type of uh, blessing. You know, you tell them it's like. Uh, I don't know how to say it really, but it's like, um, it, let's say you have a single, uh, someone in your family is like single. It's like, hope you get a boyfriend or girlfriend. Or, something <laughs> like that. Yeah, or like education. Yeah. I get education oh. a lot. Facts. Yeah. I'm like, good okay. grades. <laughs> Maybe Facts. that's what carries me through the year. I should appreciate that one a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> for sure. But for all of us, I know that we all like since we are all at the same uh, youth group and all that we do we do celebrate at the church for sure right yeah for those of you yeah. listening who don't know um we all met through church we all go to the same vietnamese catholic youth group so our church normally um has a celebration on the sunday by that and we'll do like a lot of dances and it's a big thing everyone gets food um they sell raffle tickets and fundraise for the church it's oh my, my favorite part of that. It is my it's so it? much. Fun. It is because like Dang, we all like so dress up and like oh yeah, take your pictures. <laughs> like it's fun hanging out with you guys. I always love seeing the parents. I always love seeing the parents like they're doing their performance and they're like yeah. doing some funny stuff or something. I think like one year the choir like parents they did this one uh, performance where they were singing and it was like the guys were as girls and then the girls were as like the men. It was Classic. really funny. Classic <laughs> yeah. or like um. Was it for that last year when they did like a compilation of all the performances, or was, am I thinking of one now? I think that was our book. That was my okay. Else, yeah. Never mind yeah. then. But it's like it's fun. <laughs> Scratch that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, like seeing the little kids. Like they'll do like fashion shows, or they do like their little dances, and I think it's really cute because you can see for like sure. the youth group leaders in the back miming all the dance moves and all the kids are just like locking eyes with them making sure that they get it right it, i love it that's one of my favorite parts <laughs> that's so true oh when they actually like call up the little kids to go get their uh what is it the lisi or whatever yeah and like <laughs> just see we're, too old, we're too old for yeah, so we're too old because it's like there's a now. few every lisi has like one or two bucks and then there's a few that will have like five dollars in it that's right and everyone checks to see <laughs> yeah do you guys still it's get always so cute to see like a oh, swarm sorry. of kids going up there you know there's yeah always, like, a swarm of kids <laughs> They're all really it's like cute. twelve or under, right? I think so. Under. Can I pass as twelve? Like I think Cindy. I think we can pass as twelve. Asians don't raise. I know, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you guys still get Lisi though? I do. I so well. I might not soon. It depends on the family member. On my dad's side. True. Yeah. True. On my dad's side, there's a few aunts and uncles that will still um, give the older kids. They see, but there's some that won't, which is like... <laughs> Being the broke college student that I am, yes, I still receive it. <laughs> yeah. I think maybe they'll stop when we have, like, steady careers. Exactly. And then at that point, we're going to be the ones responsible of giving them out. I still want Lacey, sense. though, because even when I have a steady career, I'm going to have student loans. <laughs> <laughs> Do true. Ooh. Yeah, I know my cousins, my older uh, cousins, they're, like, what, in their 20s, uh, 30s now. And so, like, obviously my, uh, they're, like, way older, so they don't, they're not going to receive it anymore. But I know they're still giving it to me, and so I'm, like, 
Yes, I need the money. (laughs) My mom (laughs) gives my older cousins Lacey still. They're like, they're both married now. They just got married this past year, but um, she still gives them Lacey because she doesn't want them to feel left out. (laughs) 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 Yeah, but like, other than like church and Lacey, what's your guys' other favorite parts of that that you um, enjoy, like personally? That food. I that food. Dude, for real. <laughs> All right, let's talk about let, let's talk about the food. How much food is there? Like, there's so many different like foods that are offered, right? So much. Right. Every time I go to um, what is it? The 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 festival over in the uh, the Tequila Church Big over there. Church. They have so much freaking food. There's like one sale. There's like. What is it? Oh, the potato sticks. I don't know. If oh, you guys ever had those. yeah, like it's the like, spiralized. Oh, the tornado ca- potato. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. a kebab <laughs> stick, and then it's a potato, and it's like tornadoing around the the stick itself. So cool. So I honestly good. thought it was really cool. So for some reason. So yeah. good. that's not a traditional. Food. <laughs> I know, it's not a traditional. It's a fun but food that's to have. something they offer. I mean, if we're talking traditional stuff, there's what Banseo, um Mumba Hui is offered yeah. there. There's Fa. For oh family, like when we have our family stuff, my favorite, my all time favorite food is bumbut lap. And it's like, Ooh. you know, like, um, for the audience, I don't know. Uh, it's like, it's, um, it's kind of like the Vietnamese version of dumplings ish. You could compare it that mm-hmm. way because we don't really have our own dumplings, but it's similar to where, um, it, you use like tapioca uh, flour starch um, yeah. as the dough, so it's like translucent. And then there's like fillings inside, like shrimp and pork, are most popular. And then you like wrap it in the banana leaf, and then you steam it. It's just so good. That's my favorite. I can eat like fifteen of those in one sitting. And they're like for real. They're like the size of your palm. But they're so good. They're pretty small, yeah, but they're they're really good. Like, you can. Yeah eat so much at the same time i feel like it's always a surprise too because they have different like fillings and stuff and sometimes they won't tell you the different like fillings so you just have to grab one and (laughs) you know you get what you get it's a mystery they're all good (laughs) yeah yeah and they're like a little treasure (laughs) and like one thing that i really love that's um unique to um that is fun that I really love getting that. We get normally buy it from the big church because um, my grandparents are there, and we like to support them and whatever. But like the sticky rice outside and the meat inside is just so good. I know there's like a Vietnamese uh, like s- legend story that corresponds with why we have ban chung ban tet and uh, all those like sticky rice type of things. I forget the story, so we'll have to. Look at that, look that up later, <laughs> but I know I there's a story. I'm sorry. Story. I'm really sorry. I, 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 it was like something about um, if, if I remember, correctly, it was something about like um, offering these like a hundred bantung and a hundred bantet in like the next morning to this. I don't know if it was a god, it was a dragon or something, but it was you, you had to offer up a hundred of each of them to this deity, I believe. Yeah, mm. it was pretty interesting. Uh, I have to, I, have to re-look that up. Yeah. I never heard about that story, but I heard about like I've heard stories about like my mom growing up in Vietnam, like um, what how they would prepare for that, and she said that they would always like it takes so long to make that because it's like really tedious work and it's a lot of yeah. Like um, I don't know anything about those myths about the creation of Bentet, the whole mythology and stories behind that. But um, I did hear a lot of stories about like how my mom, when growing up in Vietnam, how they would celebrate because um, it was a huge ordeal. Um, obviously, way bigger than it is here in the states. But uh, how they would clean for days and then you weren't allowed to clean on new year's and um, you weren't allowed to cook on new year's and um she would talk about making bente um with her grandma and like how tedious it is packing all the rice um and how long it takes to cook but she was talking about how um 
if you make it correctly, it can last you for months, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but I really love benthet. I normally like, I eat it mainly two ways. I don't know about you guys, but I will either slice it and then, cause it's like in the big rectangular log shape. I normally like slice it and I'll either um, microwave it um, if I don't have the time and then I'll like uh, sprinkle sugar on it or um, mm -hmm. we'll pan fry it, the slices. Mm -hmm. If we have time, we'll oh, pan yeah. fry the slices and also put sugar on it. I don't know, my mom always put sugar on it for me and my brother um, growing up. So we do that. It's really good. <laughs> I've never put sugar. Okay, so I have a confession to make. I've never had um, the... Wait, have you had banchung though? Girl. Yeah, but I haven't. Okay. Wait, I mean, seriously? Ban you have... and ban tet are pretty much like the same but thing. So technically, better. it's not that bad. But oh, there's, no. uh, okay, personally, I don't think there's a better one because they're, they're literally the same thing. Sticky no, rice kind of... and what is it? It's the mung bean and then it's the, the pork. Are they really to me? I, I feel like they're the exact same thing. No, because they're different different. shapes. Let's see, ban right? yeah. is the... Banchung is the, the small the... one. It's like the triangular, squarish one, right? Banchung. No, Banchung is the one in the, the little the... morsel package. Yeah. I thought Ban. Yeah, it's like the. They're the, the, the they're different shaped. One. Yeah, they're like and prism then... shaped. Bantet is the... the. I know there's three, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm. But like Bantet, the rice is so much soft. And it's just like the shape is better, and you don't have maybe to eat it in one the, sitting. It's by the it's by the certain person, maybe. <laughs> Jasmine has the favorite. I have no, a we, favorite. Yeah, we know we know Jasmine has a favorite. I they're have all this to me. They're all the same, so I I can choose either one, and it's it's still really good to me. <laughs> we just like I consume. Everything. Food is food. I eat. Yum Wait. yum. But seriously, Cindy, <laughs> like, you've never, yeah, in your 18 sorry. years of living? <laughs> <laughs> this year must be the first. <laughs> well, we're going to have to send her some. Maybe. We don't even know. We're going to, we're going to, like, drop off some. We're going to, like, um, We're going to drop some off for you. Yeah, we're going to drop some off yes. for you. Oh, I'll be in Seattle, God. but... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so i mean i really love but that that's my favorite i love having every year except i don't like the mung beans inside but the mung bean inside is not my favorite i mainly like the rice so i like mung beans and like dessert types yeah like mm. da, not da like bamo. savory types yeah. of food i'm the opposite with you guys then <laughs> Really? I cannot eat, yeah. like, mung bean savory foods is not as great. Right? Because, like, the only time I really eat mung bean is uh, in, um, like, like, like ban chung and then mande and then, like, uh, ban seo is like that, too. Yeah. Do you eat mung bean in your bun? You guys don't put mung bean in ban Oh, are you talking about bean sprouts? No, 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 mung are you bean, like, yellow, right? Like, mung bean curd. Ooh. We're talking about like mung bean curd, or I was. Thinking I was thinking mung bean yeah, curd. Yeah, we put it in. We put in like the yet the yellow, and then it's no. We sauna with like. Um, That's what? how you make your bansio yellow. We use turmeric. No, no. <laughs> we. Oh. I use. No. Yeah, I use turmeric. Yeah. No, we put ban we put uh, mung bean in bansio. Okay. I'm, I swear it Who is in. Who allowed this? Okay. Yeah. No, it's I a have, thing. I My have, grandma would always make it like that. I My have. Mom would make it like that. I have had bunsen my entire it, life. Yeah. I've made it plenty of times. I've made the batter plenty of times, yeah. but I have never ever put mung bean in it. Like we put beans. No, we don't put it in, in the it. batter. It's not in the batter. But like still. It's like you put it. Still. Still. What? It's because it's like what? The fact okay. that it's in it. <laughs> I guess. 
I, my family does it differently from your age or something. <laughs> Maybe it's a regional but, yeah. thing. <laughs> Maybe it's like a regional, yeah, yeah, that's, like village thing. Tell us in the comments. Do you guys put <laughs> Lundin in your in bun sale? Like I, I I've swear never heard I'm of that. not the only like, one. Like restaurants I definitely don't do that. One. So. No, I think I I have it from oh. restaurants. <laughs> it's in restaurants. Every time I've had it in a restaurant. Anyways, we're getting off topic. <laughs> <laughs> Oh <laughs> more of the story everyone makes fun sale differently let's do it like that Ed. I guess so. <laughs> uh. Cindy so Cindy your question <laughs> oh also since we were talking about Vietnamese myths and legends and apparently we're not really good at remembering the stories <laughs> but if you guys want us to do an episode on Vietnamese myths and legends, those stories that pertain to our tradition, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. And um, I'm just like looking at your guys's oh yeah right now. Kind of wish I had the energy to put one on, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys really dress up for that? Or like... Um, do you wear normal clothes, casual clothes? Because I wear street clothes when I hang out with my um, family. Like, I wear my normal, everyday clothes. Unless we're oh, going to church. Oh, it's family, yeah. It's just, oh, like, yeah. street... F- yeah, family, street clothes. Oh, yeah. Chilling, right? Yeah. 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 But, like, I don't, I don't know but for to church. Us, yeah, church, we yeah. go all out, right, guys? <laughs> yeah. We go all out. Yeah. I even have oh. um that oh, yeah, that I wear. Um, it's fun. Yeah, this is my specific that oh yeah oh. yeah i usually a wear people have um, specific ones. yeah i think last year i wore a suit and an yeah like, I, I would change in the middle of like the thing or something just for like the yeah. pictures you know it's so, like if i want to like, feel why like, i don't know i was I why'd you change into the suit oh because i made oh, you him wanted me to keep the, I made, the whole time i made him change into the suit <laughs> <laughs> so we could match again oh. <laughs> I think since since we're Vietnamese American, it's like we don't see guys wear the aoyai yeah, as much. Yeah, like, younger guys wear aoyai yeah, as much. It's mostly but just suits. They should. I feel like we should. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I know. I've I been think... asking my like family and my extended family to get me like another aoyai yeah, and everything like that. Yeah. Um, Cindy, I don't know about you, but I uh, do you do this because we normally get our family in Vietnam to make it for us, and then we'll like send money over. Yes. Because it's a heck of a lot cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds bad, but it's oh, yeah. way cheaper. <laughs> oh, it's also cheaper, and I feel like the quality is, or the quality, it's just a little bit different in Vietnam. I like the quality in Vietnam better. My family members don't particularly make it, but they do like order it for us. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, and they just have so many. Other, like so many options over in Vietnam yeah that I just like better yeah my mom she has like Vietnamese employees right and because we have a nail salon um <laughs> but uh so she has Vietnamese employees and they'll like go back a lot of the time to visit family so they'll normally bring it for us back home so that we don't have to pay for the international shipping um but we normally get my mom normally asks her aunt or one of her cousins to uh, make it the measurements are a little hard since you're not there in person but uh, that's how we normally get it because if you get a seamstress to do it here like a vietnamese seamstress to do it here in the states it can cost you like a couple hundred <laughs> uh, oh yeah they'll jack up the true. price true yeah yeah, because it's a foreign thing. It's a foreign, yeah. like, uh... Because the dollars translate uh, differently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, do you guys do any, like, different ceremonial tra- tra- traditions? <laughs> do you guys do any um, ceremonial traditions when you hang out with your family? Other than, like, the paying respects and like the blessing stuff like i usually see the traditional stuff at like church you know where they go up to the the shrine that they create and like do the whole um 
uh, the whole the, the incense and then the bowing and all that and, and as Cindy was demonstrating the gong and the bell <laughs> and everything, the drumming of the gong yeah <laughs> yeah uh, yeah same here other than like blessings um, and like we give the elders like fruit ba- like my mom makes baskets to give our family members um, yeah <laughs> we don't really do much else Except for get money, we see. How are you, Being Cindy? The students that we are, yep. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I pretty much do the same thing. I really like um, how your mom does the baskets thing. I kind of want to do that. <laughs> That's really thoughtful, yeah. Well, we don't have a lot yeah. to visit, so, like, um, around us, because most of my mom's side is still in Vietnam. Um, gotcha. So... She normally makes baskets. Actually, my family. Like, my, um, that's what my family normally does. Like, my aunts and uncles will also make baskets to give to each other and to, like, give to older aunts and uncles. So. That's so cute. (laughs) Yeah. I like that. (laughs) That's definitely something I'm gonna carry on. It's a lot of work, but. Or, like, my mom will get, um, like, those Vietnamese flowers, like, the flowers with it. She'll get them from the wholesalers since she used to be a florist. Um, and she'll gift those out too. For like orchids and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And like since COVID is still a thing and we're all social distancing and we can't really see our extended family right now, um, what are you guys' plans for that this year? Um so since COVID has been um has stuck around for so long the way we've been celebrating, um, I guess general celebrations now is just going out and getting food, um, usually from Chinatown. So we're probably going to do the same this year for that. And <clears throat> quick little plug, support your small businesses. They need your help. Consider um, taking out some food and support them. For sure. Yeah. How about you, Z? Yeah. What do you do? What are you doing? Uh, I don't know. To I think like for us, um, like in years past, we didn't do too much. But probably this year, we'll probably maybe, maybe have a small gathering with uh, just maybe my family would go up to grandparents just to see them really quick, have like lunch or something, and then just spend some family time, I guess. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, my roommate that I have for college right now, my apartment. Um, she's Chinese, so she also celebrates the Lunar New Year, which I think is a little fun. Um, so we might do something. I know she wants to get roast duck, um, and we'd have to go to Chinatown for that, but I think I might just convince my mom to bring us roast duck, or, like, my cousin to get us roast duck. Um, uh, and I don't really know if I'm doing anything with my family, if I'm coming home for home for the weekend but it kind of sucks I don't get to see my extended family um especially like my cousins on my dad's side because it's normally with my dad's side it's very lively (laughs) um the house is always really loud and it's really fun with them and I haven't seen them for a while so I'm gonna miss my like my extended family a lot yeah yeah it's Um, tough during this COVID season for sure yeah yeah it's weird like finding different ways to celebrate like celebrating outside uh social distancing my mom's had like some of my friends in our garage with the door open um just to like hang out with her masks on (laughs) it's so cold though (laughs) it is especially since it's winter now yeah Oh, innovation <laughs> that excites <laughs> <laughs> am I allowed to say that oh no yeah. it's bye <laughs> it's just fun it's I didn't bye. know that phrase was called <laughs> innovation that excites <laughs> not sponsored wait what's that though. from again <clears throat> we're not sponsored by the way <laughs> Is that me, By Nissan? Nissan? No. Nissan? Is it Nissan? <laughs> is it? 
Nissan innovation that expires. Nissan sponsor us, please. Nissan, please. We wish. We wish. <laughs> Anyways, um, we all love debt a lot since it's an, it's an important holiday for our culture, and we get to celebrate with the ones we love. We're really sad that we can't do much um, for it this year, but we're going to do our best to hold our heads high and celebrate in the ways that we can. Yeah, so thanks uh, for listening to us talk about our culture and traditions during Lunar New Year. We love that, and we would also love to hear about your traditions too at this time of year. How do you guys celebrate that? And if, um, and what are your favorite parts about it? So be sure to leave a comment below if you're watching on YouTube or just leave a comment on our Instagram so we can see your responses. And be sure to tune in next week on Friday. Yep, so our podcasts are available on Spotify and YouTube under our name. So you can follow us also on Instagram at PassTheNickMum if you want to connect with us and to receive updates on our pod. So yeah, we'll see you guys next week. See you guys. Hey guys, it's Cindy popping in live, but not really, <laughs> to promote our charity of the week. Since this episode is about that in our culture, we thought it'd be pretty fitting to include a Vietnam-based organization. We chose Hoa Tinh Thung, or known in English as Loving Flowers Mindfulness, because they contribute directly to the communities in Vietnam. So right now, they're working into building monasteries and supporting young monks through their journeys to find guidance and in turn, guide others. We want to help give back to the other part of our community, the Vietnamese community, and give voice to international organizations. As always, if we make any revenue from this episode, they will be going directly to this charity. We highly suggest you check out Hoa Tin Tung and stay updated with the communities that they are involved with and consider donating yourself. All right, pop them out. Bye, guys. <laughs>